We are now going to turn to that new battle brewing over the rights to Taylor Swift's old hits. The singer, who is being honored with a big award at the upcoming American Music Awards, now says her performance there is threatened. Paula Ferris is here with the latest on this. Good morning, Paula. Good morning to you, Cecile. Good morning, everyone. Taylor Swift says her performance at the AMAs is in doubt because two record execs told her she cannot perform her old music. She's now accusing them of tyrannical control and getting her millions of followers involved. Taylor Swift first came to fame with anthems like these. And her fans were looking forward to hearing her perform them live at the upcoming American Music Awards, where she's being honored with Artist of the Decade. But this morning, Swift is saying that may not happen because big machine label groups Scott Borchetta and Scooter Braun, who took over her master recordings when they bought her former record company last year, have told her that she's only allowed to perform her old hits on television, saying if I agree to not re-record copycat versions of my songs next year, which is something I'm both legally allowed to do and looking forward to. She went on to write, this is wrong, so this is where I'm asking for your help. Please let Scott Borchetta and Scooter Braun know how you feel about this. Swifties were quick to react online. I stand with Taylor immediately trending. Singer Halsey writing, this is just mean. But critics wondering if some of the pop superstars fans are taking it a little too far with posts like these, threatening harm to the record executives. But you say it in a tweet, that's a cop out and I'm just like, hey. Braun, who also manages Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande. I see it, I like it, I want it. Purchased Big Machine Label Group for $300 million, which includes Swift's first six studio albums. The pair claimed Swift knew about that sale ahead of time and was given the opportunity to own her masters. But Swift maintained she was blindsided by the sale and never had a chance to buy them. On GMA this past August, Swift addressed the controversy. I mean, one thing about this album that's really special to me is that it's the first one that I will own of my work. Swift does plan to record all six albums again next year. If she does perform at the AMAs as of now, she says she will only be able to perform songs from her latest album, Lover, which debuted at number one. And I promise that nobody's gonna love you like me. Taylor Swift goes on to say, quote, the message being sent to me is very clear. Be a good little girl and shut up or you'll be punished. Now, Braun and Borchetta, those two executives are responding. They are shocked by her statements. They say the narrative that she has created doesn't exist. They also claim that she hasn't accepted one invitation to talk about this. Mm. And now they're worried about their families and employees because she's essentially unleashed her millions of fans mm. on them. Mm. Mm. A lot of bad blood here. Okay, thank you, yep. Paul. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.